Using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse with a mobile device isn't anything new. You've probably seen plenty of people using them with an iPad to boost productivity, but on an iPhone, that's not something you see every day. The good news is though, that it's totally possible and in some cases is pretty handy. So in this video, I'll show you how to set things up. First up, let's get the keyboard connected, make sure it's switched on and then put it into pairing mode. On my Logitech MX keys, this just means holding down one of the three Bluetooth profile buttons for a few seconds. And once it's in pairing mode, the indicator light will start flashing faster. That's your sign to jump back into the Bluetooth settings on your iPhone. You should see your keyboard pop up under other devices at the bottom. Just tap to connect. And if you're asked to type in a six digit code, just enter it and hit return. And that's it, you're connected. Now that your keyboard's paired, you can start using it straight away. Open notes, a browser search, all messages, and you're good to go. There's no extra setup needed. Before we move on though, there's one extra feature worth mentioning. It's not enabled by default, but it could be really useful depending on how you're using your keyboard. Now head to settings, accessibility, scroll down to keyboards and typing and select full keyboard access. Turning this on lets you customize shortcuts that act like iPhone gestures, meaning in theory, you could navigate your phone entirely with the keyboard, no need to tap the screen. I don't use this myself since I mainly just use the keyboard for typing, but if you want full control without touching your phone, it's definitely worth checking out. Now let's get the mouse set up. First, make sure it's switched on. I'm using the Satechi M1 Bluetooth mouse, and to put it into pairing mode, I just hold down the Bluetooth button on the bottom until the light starts flashing faster. Next, head back to Bluetooth settings on your iPhone. Just like with the keyboard, you should see the mouse appear under other devices, then tap to connect. With this mouse, I get a simple pairing request. So hit pair and you're good to go. Some other mice might ask for a code. And if they do, the default is usually 0000. Now you'd probably expect the mouse to start working straight away because, well, that would make sense. And that's exactly how it works on an iPad. But with an iPhone, there's one extra step required. Go to settings, accessibility, touch, and tap assistive touch at the top and switch it on. Now you'll see a pointer or cursor appear on the screen and your mouse will start working. By default, you'll also see the assistive touch menu icon on the screen, and you can move this around or make it more transparent, but it can still be a little bit distracting. Luckily, you can turn this off when the mouse is connected, just scroll down and switch off always show menu. One thing to keep in mind though, is if you disconnect your mouse and go back to using your iPhone normally, it's a good idea to turn off assistive touch. Otherwise the menu icon will still pop up even when you're not using a mouse. Now, just like with the keyboard, there's a few extra features that might come in handy. One of my favorites is the button mapping, which lets you assign specific actions to your mouse buttons. To set this up, stay in the assistive touch menu, but scroll down and tap devices, select your mouse, and then go to customize additional buttons. In my case, I selected scroll wheel click, then choose an action. One that I find really useful is the app switcher. So now whenever I click the scroll wheel on my mouse, I can quickly flip between apps. Now, if you've got a mouse of extra buttons, you can go all out with customizations. There's also a few other settings worth exploring from the assistive touch menu. You can set custom actions for single tap, double tap and long press, and you can create custom gestures, adjust tracking sensitivity, and even enable hot corners, which lets you trigger actions just by moving the cursor to a certain corner of the screen. And finally, there's pointer control, which we'll find under settings and accessibility. From here, you can increase the contrast of the pointer, set it to automatically hide when it's not active, change the color, or even make it larger. You can also adjust the scrolling speed from this menu. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse with an iPhone. I hope this video helped. Let me know in the comments how you use a keyboard and mouse with your iPhone and what your favorite features are. I'd love to hear. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, consider hitting that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, cheers.